Shabby Rose. It has been a while since I have done a box review, and that is completely my fault. Uh, it has been three weeks. I've had this box in my possession, and I have not done a review because, well, I have taken a break from YouTube. It seemed as if I got a little bit burnt out, and so I am back. And this box, um, is so much fun. It is all about literary classics. And I love books. I love to read. And so that's what I've been doing. Enjoying myself with a nice cup of coffee and some books in my free time. And not doing YouTube videos. Because this has brought back some childhood memories. And I want to share it with you now. Since I have little bit of time on my hands so early this morning. Let's open it. So excited. Here you can see Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes, Pride and Prejudice, um, Phantom of the Opera, Ruby Slippers right here from The Wizard of Oz and The Wizard of Oz down here. Tea party. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Yes. And just so many. Oh, I love the rose on that mask. We're going to see if that's on a plate. I have been wondering when Nannyology would come out with a Phantom of the Opera plate because I just enjoy the music from Phantom of the Opera and the storyline. Um, and so I was wondering, oh, wouldn't it be great to have a plate with Phantom of the Opera on it? Well, wish came true. So here it is. Here's the card that explains, I have not done my nails, so we're gonna do those too. We have colors in polishes in this box. We're adding some brand new colors to your reading rainbow. Polish up your page turners with nightingale, a blush tube. Stamping polish with hints of dusty lavender, a classic cream formula. Next, take a selfie with sonnet a rose pink offering subtle shades of violet and a lush cream finish sounds wonderful and they have marble nail foils and foil glue included in the treat that they send with this so you get two plates two stamping polishes and a and the gift oh i like that that's so neat i like the kitty cat once upon a time, the books, this is reverse stamping, where you can color it in like a coloring book and uh, stamp on your nails. So excited. So, oh, I've been wanting to do this. Okay. So here are the stamping polishes. Figure out my little tool here, break that seal. Oh, these are lovely. Oh, I love the rose. I love the colors. Oh, we'll have to swatch those. So this one's Sonnet, and this one's Nightingale. Let's turn these around so the, the numbers are there. So nice. Beautiful. Happy or sad, joyful or mad, just feeling flat, here's a stamp for that. <laughs> Doing my nails definitely helps bring up the mood. Here are the plates. Here are the plates. Oh, so much fun. Look at that. Anne of Green Gables. Oh, I love Anne of Green Gables. I love the movies. Withering Heights. I think I've watched that one. Little cameo picture there. It's a tree and the couple under the tree. Oh, I love that. The kitty cat on the books, Once Upon a Time. Here's Alice. We're all mad here. Here's Moby Dick over here. See that? With the, um, the whale coming up 
out and getting the ship. If you've ever seen Heart of the Sea, that is amazing when the whale attacks the ship. That was like an amazing scene on that movie. And what all those poor sailors went through with the real story of what happened with with that whale and, and just the history of whaling. I mean, it was just, that was an amazing movie, Heart of the Sea. Never under, never saw when a whale actually attacked a ship. And here's the other one. Les Miserables. Huh. Can't really say it right. Maybe I did. We're all fools in love. Oh, that's funny. Miss Ardently. Oh, that's from, yes. Uh, Pride and Prejudice. The Wizard of Oz. Here's the li Cowardly Lion. <laughs> I liked it on Wizard of Oz when she... <laughs> slaps him from trying to attack Toto, slaps his paw, and he's like, is my nose bleeding? <laughs> I love that. Ooh, the ruby slippers. Oh, nice. And the tin man, and the scarecrow, and then all of them going down the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. And then here's Peter Pan. Dracula Castle. There's some pretty good historical videos on YouTube about Dracula that I've watched. They're very interesting. Phantom of the Opera, Mr. Darcy, Mrs. Darcy. Oh, that was pretty good. Little cameos. Yes, here is the mask with the rose on it. <gasps> That'd be beautiful to reverse stamp. Pride and Prejudice. Love me, that's all I ask of you. Oh, so nice. Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Here's his hat. A key. What else is on there? His violin. Some roses. Oh, so cool. I love these plates. I'm going to have a lot of fun with these. And yes, it's near the end of the month. The first of the month is when the box comes out and gets sent to you on the first. So you still have a little bit of time if I upload this like video like now. Um, you have time to order this box. It's $25, um, plus shipping. And you, you can get this box. Um, by next month it won't be available. Um, one of the plates, if you're part of the Maniology, Mania Me Club, there is an area in the back where you can get discontinued plates if you're part of the club and you can get them there and here is the foil nail glue I do not have foil glue so this is going to be fun I wonder if it has a smell to it no it doesn't smell that bad you know how some glues just like knock you over this does not smell bad so cool and then here are the nail foil foils that can't talk this morning for one thing i got my braces adjusted i have a wire poking the inside of my mouth i put wax on it it makes me talk funny so there is one two three four, five, six sheets of nail foils. Oh, so pretty. We'll see how good I am at putting these on. Ah! Maniology also has their own YouTube channel where they give box reviews and show you how to do different techniques with their stamping plates. Highly recommend following them. I've learned a lot from their videos. Especially reverse stamping, which I love to do. And that's everything. So we'll put that box in there. Put this in there. There we go. Get rid of that. And there you have a wonderful box from Maniology about literary classics. Let me share with you my favorite books from the, that this stamping plate reminded me of this book right here <laughs> oh it's so much fun i do have the wizard of oz in this book and i don't think i have pride and prejudice in these illustrated classic 
books, but they are so much fun. If you're not like really into reading like the full, um, you know, classic book that's really thick and you want pictures, these books are so much fun. You can read them in like one, in like an hour. I mean, it's like, and it gives you a nice overview in the story. And the pictures are just so beautifully detailed. I love them. And so I've had this book for years. And it, it just gave me a nice overview of, of The Hound of the Baskervilles. And I've remembered it. My whole life. I mean, look at that picture. I, I mean, that just like, whoa. And it just goes all through the story. And there's like a picture on every page. I've loved this book for years. And, I, and now I'm reading it to my kids. So it's just, I really enjoyed it. So that's The Hound of the Baskervilles and Sherlock Holmes. And it's a, it's a lot of fun. So, oh, yep. Doggy chasing the guy. So, yeah. Yep, and so they have all lists of different ones. I think you can find these on Mark Carey now or wherever. And then I love Pride and Prejudice. This one. I believe it came out in 1995. This series from BBC. Um, and so this, this one's fun. Mainly because it has the movie picture on the front of the main characters from the BBC one. I like that series. So that's Prime Prejudice. And then I have... Be right back. Alright. And then we have these. So much fun. I got this over Walmart. You can get it online through there. And it wasn't that expensive. So this gives like the whole... The Royal Albert Hall... Phantom of the Opera at the Royal Albert Hall. It was so good. I really liked it. I love Sierra Borges. She is so good as um, as Christine. And the Phantom was good too on that one. Yeah. It's hard to say his name, but that's his name right there. I really like that one. And then this book is a continuation of The Phantom of the Opera, The Phantom of Manhattan. And so I'm um, not quite all the way through. I got like that much through it and then life got me and I still have all that to do, but it's, it's interesting. And then Love Never Dies. I mean, it was like underrated, I guess you could say, but I got the song trapped, I think. Uh, it's not the movie. It's all the music, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's all that. So, it's the music to it. I, you can also, I think, get it over Walmart. But that's like the continuation of the Phantom of the Opera. Pretty interesting. Too bad Christine dies in the end. Okay, spoiler alert. Yes. <laughs> I think that's why I lost interest. But, um... That shouldn't have happened. So these plates right here, we're gonna swatch these. I need to find, oh. Yes. I do not have a paper towel. So, be right back. All right, I have the paper from the box. The whole reason why you would like a protective thing is because when you like swipe it, you don't want any of the uh, polish on your desk area. Oh, so nice. That one's already started for me. How nice. Oh, I like that. So oh, I love the book. Right there, did you see that? Look at that. It has like flowers coming up out of it. Oh, this, this, this is definitely 
definitely a set that's so nice. So glad I got it. So now I need to find a scraper and a stamper. I got that. And I need to find... There we go. That'll work. Alright, so let's swatch these ones. Right here. Tone to clean off the plates when you're done. There you go. So, so excited. Let's see here. We'll do this one first. Let's see here. Oh, we're all mad here. Ink and cables. We'll do the whale. Let's do the whale. Oh, this color is absolutely fantastic. It's so pretty. I'm partial to rosy colors. Okay, we'll just go like this. Hmm. Ah! I didn't have my top off. Ooh, it picked up nicely. Oh, yeah. That turned out well. It doesn't change over the black or the white. It stays consistent. That's very nice. So nice. Here is this, and then you just clean that off like that. Then we'll clean off our scraper. Let's do, for the light, this light one, let's do Dracula's Palace. <laughs> this castle. I liked it on the minions um, when they opened up the curtain. They made him like turn to ash. That was like so hilarious. Ooh, that turned out well too. Look at that. It stayed consistent, both black and white. So these, these are beautiful stamping polishes. Just beautiful. Love them. <laughs> 